Well, it is time for story time. Royce is going to be giving the story. So as our young people uh, go about collecting the donation, uh, we are going to have a VBS this summer. And some of these funds are going to be to support that VBS. So thank you so much for your donation. A 
And uh, those were first, second, and third place, but it wasn't really first place, second place. It was what you did, and if you did well, you would get a medal. And one thing, you'd get a bronze medal. Two things, you'd get a silver medal. In two or more, you'd get, uh, I should say, in three or more, you'd get a gold medal. So the day of the contest came. She was sitting there just like you are in the row, waiting for her turn to come and play the piano. I should have some music here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and she, uh, she waited till her time finally came. She went up, she sat down at the piano, and she started to play. Now remember, she practiced and practiced and practiced. She played the piano, she played her piece, and she got done. You know what? She didn't think she did very well. She had tried so hard. She wanted to cry. She had done all that practicing. And then when she finally did it, she wasn't sure she did very well. And she went home and she was upset. Well, now, she was waiting for something to come in the mail after this contest. Because they didn't tell her how well she did that day. The only way she was going to know is on the day of the awards when she went back to the auditorium and the Prince of Wales was there and all these other people were there, the very rich and famous people in England would be there for the special award ceremony. But until that day, she had to wait until the mail came. Because in the mail, she'd get an invitation to come to the ceremony. But when she got the invitation in the mail, she knew that that invitation, they had told, people had told her that where she was told to sit in the auditorium showed how well she did. In other words, you're seated in the front row. If she got an invitation that said, when you come to this auditorium, you get to sit in the front row, she knew she did really well. But if her invitation said to sit in the middle of the auditorium, oh, she may not have done so well. But if it told you to sit in the back of the auditorium, oh, you probably did not do well at all. And she was waiting for the invitation to come. And it came in the mail. She was scared. She didn't want to open it. But she finally opened it and she looked at the invitation. What do you think it told her to sit? It didn't tell her to sit in the front. Uh-oh. It didn't tell her to sit in the middle either. Oh, no. It didn't even tell her to sit in the back of the auditorium. Oh, Eleanor was so upset, it told her to sit way up in the back of the balcony. She was really upset. Now, when you get upset, sometimes we do things that we shouldn't do. Eleanor was upset, and then she got angry. And she got mad. And she thought, I can go to this audit, this ceremony, but I don't have to like it. As a matter of fact, I'll show how much I don't like it. I'm going to put on the worst dress I have. And when the day came, that's exactly what she did. She had the invitation that told her to go to the ceremony. She put on the worst dress she had. The one she had was the one she cleaned the house in. It always had dirty spots all over it. And she thought it wasn't ugly enough. She said it needs a great big red bow right across the front. Uh, and, a, and a big bow in front. I mean a big banner and a big bow in front. And so that's the way she went to the auditorium. And she thought, I'll show those people how unfair this whole thing is. She got to the auditorium with her invitation. It's a good thing she had it. Because they probably wouldn't even let her in the auditorium. <laughs> They let her in, she went upstairs, she sat down. The ceremony started, the Prince of Wales was up there, there was all kinds of music, there were all kinds of rich and famous people sitting there, and all that went on until finally they gave the awards away. And then they started to call names off, and they called this name of that person, they called this name of that person, and they called another person, and then finally they called Eleanor De Eleanor was sitting in the back of the auditorium, upstairs in the back of the auditorium, and she heard her name called. And she thought, oh, I've got to go down there. So she got down the stairs, and she started down the center aisle. And then what did she remember? She remembered how she was dressed. Oh, 
Everybody was looking at her, and they were looking at her as she walked down, and finally she got up there to where the Prince of Wales was, and I don't know what he was thinking at that moment. He could have, he could have said, get her out of here! Oh, she went up and she bowed before or curtsied in front of the Prince of Wales and he handled, handed her her medal and Eleanor left that place and went home very embarrassed but very thankful that she did a lot better than she thought she had done. You know, I have a lesson I want to share with you there today. When we get mad and we get angry, sometimes we do things we shouldn't do. But you know, what I really like about this story is that Jesus is just like the Prince of Wales. He still loves us, and He still forgives us, and He cares about us. And one day, because He loves us, He's actually going to give us a crown in heaven. Did you know that? The King of Heaven is going to give us a crown if we love Jesus back. Do you love Jesus? Well, I love Him too, and I want Him to know that I love Him as well. And so even when I do bad things, I ask Him to forgive me, and He promises He forgives us. Isn't that good news? Great. I also want to tell you another piece about this story. My grandmother's name was Eleanor. She was the girl who wore that ugly dress in front of the Prince of Wales. <laughs>